everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this travel vlog. Today we are in the city of Bruges, aka Brugge. <laughs> Our trip started early on a Saturday morning when we took a Flix bus from Rotterdam to Bruges. The bus trip took about 3 hours and 10 minutes. This weekend it is my boyfriend's birthday and as a birthday surprise I decided to bring him here for the weekend. So yeah, we have a hotel booked for tonight and we'll be spending two days here exploring. Bruges is a beautiful city located in the northwestern part of Belgium. The old town of the city has been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We have only been walking for about yeah, 10 minutes in the city and <laughs> it already looks so cute. All the houses and little streets. I'm in love. checking into our hotel and exploring properly we decided to come for some lunch because yeah it's already 1 30 and we've eaten breakfast but that was very early After checking into our hotel, we visited the famous Basilica of the Holy Blood, where you can see the actual blood of Jesus. There were two different parts of the church and they were both free to visit. Now we have come to the famous market square and next what we're gonna do is that we're gonna climb up this tower all the way to the top. I'm a bit tired today, I didn't really sleep well last night. So let's see how it goes. But um, yeah, I'm sure the views from the top will be really nice though. And so the climb starts. Note, um, there's no bathroom here. And if you do want to use a bathroom, you need coins. I don't have coins. So prepare some when you come here. Because this is gonna be a bit of an uncomfortable <laughs> climb for me, but oh well. I would really highly recommend climbing up the Belfry Tower. It's 366 steps up to the top, so it's not for the faint-hearted. But there were also a few stops on the way up, 
where you could take a break if you wanted to so it wasn't too bad actually here you can kind of see how high we are up now <laughs> it's very high actually the views were definitely worth it you should make sure to book your tickets in advance online as we saw a lot of people denied entry because it was fully booked and I must say it was actually really nice that the tickets were quite limited so it wasn't too crowded at all making it a much more pleasant experience to visit now to a beer cafe and we got the most perfect spot ever right outside in the sun and let me show you guys the view this here is our view I don't think it gets much better than this to be honest the reality behind the scenes at the beer cafe I'm having a cola. <laughs> In the sunlight, it's really perfect. of Belgian chocolate and it's a mix of different kinds and we're gonna try and find some nice cozy spots where to sit down and enjoy them and just walk around and yeah enjoy the ambiance of the city we weren't able to find a free bench but instead we found these steps that are right by the water and there are boats going past here and it's just really really cute currently we are both loving life and now let's try the chocolates you want to share them you you want to buy no. starting with a horse head mm. it's really rich yum Ooh. we thought there were only 10 pieces of chocolate well only <laughs> but it seems like there's actually two layers of chocolate so there's double the amount that we thought it's a good day. <laughs> oh man. Mmm. It's like strawberry inside. We were just talking that this city, like anywhere you look, it's so beautiful. It's fun to just honestly walk around and see everything because yeah, you can take so many different routes and stuff and always find something fun and new and yeah, absolutely beautiful. Next up is a boat tour. The boat tour was a great way of seeing the city from another perspective. The guide on the boat was great, teaching us about the history and some fun facts about Bruges. We saw that during the daytime the lines to the boats were super long, but we took the boat instead more in the evening time and it was actually the last boat that left around 6pm and we didn't need to wait in line at all. And I also think that the city looked very beautiful in the evening sunlight. We 
have now come to our dinner spot. It's a Belgian restaurant. Um, someone recommended this to us, so let's hope it's good. We have a reservation, so yeah, let's go and try it. now arrived back to the hotel and it's been a long and eventful day so we're gonna go to bed and I'll see you guys again tomorrow good morning I said really well but <laughs> still a bit sleepy but we are now off to the hotel breakfast <laughs> It's time to check out from the hotel and yeah go for day two here in Bruges and first we're going to head to a museum here we actually happened to stumble upon a market right by our hotel so we're gonna check out this first after all and after this then the museum We went to visit a torture museum. The museum was alright, but quite small. It's a good activity idea if you're visiting when it's raining, for example. If you are interested in these kind of things, maybe it could be something for you. Our plan is to visit this brewery that you can see over here. We have already bought tickets in advance. Visiting one of the famous breweries is a must in Bruges, especially for all beer lovers out there. The visit works as an audio tour and you get to learn and see how beer is made. I'm not even that big of a fan of beer, but I still found it enjoyable. The tour price includes also a beer that you get to enjoy afterwards. This place has a lovely terrace right by the water, so if you can manage to get a seat, it's the perfect place where to sit and relax afterwards. We now came 
to the bar part of the brewery and one beer was included in the price and we also got a pretzel to share. Cheers! Now we're going to be visiting this church <laughs> over here. It's one of the most famous churches here. And also our boat driver yesterday said that it's really beautiful from the inside. So yeah, I'm curious to see it. Of course, we can't leave Belgium without having some Belgian waffles. Are now at the bus stop waiting for our bus back home we are taking the flix bus and that will take us back to the netherlands and yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know have you ever visited bruges and if you haven't would you maybe like to remember to also subscribe to my channel to also see my future videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye